Introduction Students, today I am going to teach you three-dimensional geometry. Has anyone heard about it before? Teacher, I have heard about the 3D glasses which we wear while watching 3D movies. <laughs> yeah, you are right. You are probably familiar with two-dimensional Cartesian geometry by now. That is, planar geometry. With this, we will learn about three-dimensional space or solid geometry. Real-world objects exist in three dimensions. For example, a cuboid or a box is completely described by three parameters as follows, length, breadth and height. Corresponding to that, each point in the Cartesian space has three coordinates, x, y, and Z. Look at this figure carefully. The X axis is along the length of the screen. The Y axis is along the height of the screen. And the Z axis will be the one coming out of the computer screen. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define coordinate axis and coordinate planes. Explain coordinates of a point in space. Find distance between two points and explain section formula. Coordinate axis and coordinate planes. Let us take an example of a bouncing ball in a room where one corner of the room is considered as the origin. We can take any corner of the room as origin of reference and relative to that the coordinates of the point change. Thus, the origin can be taken arbitrarily at any point of the room. Let us start with an arbitrary point O in space and draw three mutually perpendicular lines X-OX, Y-OY and Z-OZ through O. The point O is called the origin of the coordinate system and the lines X dash O X, Y dash O Y and Z dash O Z are called the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis respectively. The positive direction of the axis is indicated by arrows with thick lines. The plane determined by the X axis and the Y axis is called X Y plane. That is, X, O, Y plane and similarly Y, Z plane that is Y, O, Z plane and Z, X plane that is Z, O, X plane can be determined. These three planes are called coordinate planes. The three coordinate planes divide the whole space into eight parts called octants, coordinates of a point in space. Let P be any point in space. Through P, draw perpendicular PL on XY plane meeting this plane at L. Through L, draw a line LA parallel to OY cutting OX in A. If we write OA is equal to X, AL is equal to Y and LP is equal to Z. Then, X, Y, Z are the coordinates of the point P. Again, if we complete a rectangular parallel piped through P with its three edges, OA, OB and OC meeting each other at O and OP as its main diagonal, then the lengths OA, OB, OC, that is, X, Y, Z are called the coordinates of the point P. The coordinates X, Y and Z of any point are the perpendicular distances of P from the three rectangular coordinate planes Y, Z, Z, X and X, Y respectively. Thus, given a point P in space, to it corresponds a triplet X, Y, Z called the coordinates of the point in space. Conversely, given a triplet X, Y, Z, 
there corresponds a point P in space whose coordinates are X, Y, Z. Example Name the octant where the given points lie. 2, 6, 8, minus 1, 2, 3. Solution Since all the coordinates are positive, therefore, 2, 6, 8 lies in the octant OX, Y, Z. Since X is negative and Y and Z are positive, therefore, minus 1, 2, 3 lies in the octant O X dash Y Z distance between two points. We use the Pythagoras theorem to derive a formula for finding the distance between two points in two and three dimensional space. Let P is equal to X1, Y1 and Q is equal to X2, Y2 be two points on the Cartesian plane as shown in the figure. Then from the Pythagoras theorem, we find that the distance between P and Q is PQ is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 square plus Y2 minus Y1 square. In a similar way, it can be proved that if P is equal to X1 Y1, Z1 and Q is equal to X2, Y2, Z2 are two points in the three-dimensional space. The distance between P and Q is PQ is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 square plus Y2 minus Y1 square plus Z2 minus Z1 square. Example 1. Find the distance between the points 2, 5, minus 4 and 8, 2, minus 6. Solution. Let P 2, 5, minus 4 and Q 8, 2, minus 6 be two given points. Therefore, PQ is equal to square root of 8 minus 2 square plus 2 minus 5 square plus minus 6 plus 4 square is equal to square root of 36 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to square root of 49 is equal to 7. Example 2. Show that the points minus 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, and 7, 0, minus 1 are collinear. Solution. Let points minus 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, and 7, 0, minus 1 be denoted by P, Q and R respectively. The points are collinear if they lie on the same line. PQ is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 square plus 2 minus 3 square plus 3 minus 5 square. After calculating PQ, we get square root of 14. PR is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 square plus 0 minus 3 square plus minus 1 minus 5 square. After calculating PR, we get 3 into square root of 14. QR is equal to square root of 7 minus 1 square plus 0 minus 2 square plus minus 1 minus 3 square. After calculating QR, we get 2 into square root of 14. Here, PQ plus QR is equal to square root 14 plus 2 into square root 14 is equal to 3 into square root 14 is equal to PR. Hence, points minus 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3 and 7, 0, minus 1, 
are collinear section formula let the point r x y z divide pq in the ratio l is to m internally let the coordinates of p be x1 y1 z1 and the coordinates of q be x2 y2 z2 from the points p r and q draw pl rn and qm perpendiculars to the xy plane draw la nc and mb perpendiculars to ox now ac is equal to oc minus oa is equal to x minus x1 and bc is equal to ob minus oc is equal to x2 minus x also we have ac by bc is equal to ln by nm is equal to pr by rq is equal to l by m therefore x minus x1 by x2 minus x is equal to l by m on solving we get x is equal to lx2 plus mx1 divided by l plus m similarly if we draw perpendiculars to oy and oz respectively we get y is equal to ly2 plus my1 divided by l plus m and z is equal to lz2 plus mz1 divided by l plus m therefore r is the point lx2 plus mx1 divided by l plus m ly2 plus my1 divided by l plus m lz2 plus mz1 divided by l plus m if lambda is equal to l by m then the coordinates of the point r which divides pq in the ratio lambda is to 1 r lambda x2 plus x1 divided by lambda plus 1 lambda y2 plus y1 divided by lambda plus 1 lambda z2 plus z1 divided by lambda plus 1 lambda plus 1 not equals to 0 it is clear that to every value of lambda there corresponds a point of the line pq and to every point r on the line pq there corresponds some value of lambda if lambda is positive r lies on the line segment pq and if lambda is negative r does not lie on the line segment pq in the second case you may say that r divides the line segment pq externally in the ratio lambda is to 1 corollary corollary 1 the coordinates of the point dividing pq externally in the ratio l is to m r l x 2 minus m x 1 divided by l minus m l y 2 minus m y 1 divided by l minus m l z 2 minus m z 1 divided by l minus m corollary 2 the coordinates of the midpoint of p q r x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 z1 plus z2 by 2 example of section formula find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points 2 minus 4 3 and minus 4 5 minus 6 in the ratio 2 is to 1 internally solution let a 2 minus 4 3 b minus 4 5 minus 6 be the two points let p x y z divides a b in the ratio 2 is to 1 
Therefore, x is equal to 2 into minus 4 plus 1 into 2 divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 2. y is equal to 2 into 5 plus 1 into minus 4 divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to 2 and z is equal to 2 into minus 6 plus 1 into 3 divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 3. Thus, the coordinates of P are minus 2, 2, minus 3. Example of section formula Given that P, 3, 2, minus 4, Q, 5, 4, minus 6, and R, 9, 8, minus 10 are collinear. Find the ratio in which Q divides PR. Solution. Let point Q, 5, 4, minus 6, divide the line segment joining points P, 3, 2, minus 4, and R, 9, 8, minus 10 in the ratio K is to 1. Therefore, by using section formula, we get 5, 4, minus 6 is equal to K into 9 plus 3 by K plus 1. K into 8 plus 2 by K plus 1. K into minus 10 minus 4 by K plus 1. On solving for K, we get K is equal to 1 by 2. Thus, point Q divides PR in the ratio 1 is to 2. Did you know? J. Bernoulli, in a letter of 1715 AD to Leibniz, introduced the three coordinate planes which we use today. L. Euler took up systematically the three dimensional coordinate geometry in Chapter 5 of the Appendix to the second volume of his Introduction to Geometry in 1748 AD. It was not until the middle of the 19th century that geometry was extended to more than three dimensions, the well-known application of which is in the space-time continuum of Einstein's theory of relativity. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. In three dimensions, the coordinate axes of a rectangular Cartesian coordinate system are three mutually perpendicular lines. The axes are called the X, Y and Z axes. The three planes determined by the pair of axes are the coordinate planes called X, Y, Y, Z and Z, X planes. The three coordinate planes divide the space into eight parts known as octants. The coordinates of a point P in three-dimensional geometry is always written in the form of triplet, like X, Y, Z. Here, X, Y and Z are the distance from the Y, Z, Z, X and X, Y planes. Any point on X axis is of the form X, 0, 0. Any point on Y axis is of the form 0, Y, 0. Any point on Z axis is of the form 0, 0, Z. Distance between two points PX1, Y1, Z1 and QX2, Y2, Z2 is given by The coordinates of the point R, which divides the line segments joining two points, Px1, Y1, Z1 and Q, X2, Y2, Z2, internally and externally in the ratio M is to N are given by. And the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining two points P, X1, Y1, Z1 and Q, X2, Y2, Z2 are. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.